bottom part of the zone. And the Mavericks, they've been so good in limiting walks this season. Second best team in the country. And there's a base hit directly up the middle by Tyreek Kemp. Caleb Bergman, left fielder, batting in the ninth spot. He'll go after the first one. One hopper over to Medellin, barehanded it, and the throw gets away from Ryan Black. One of the Bears is going to score. It's 1-0, and an infield error could have ended the inning. Instead, a run comes home. Buchanan scores for Baylor, 1-0. Bears this season came against fellow Big 12 opponent TCU who currently sits 7-11 in the Big 12 standings. Ellis right up the middle. That's gloved by Matheson. He'll make the run over to first base and toss it to Posey, and that'll be out number one. Armstrong does have some pop in that bat as well. Three home runs on the season. He's going to put one into center field. Ty Johnson uh, jogs forward, and he makes the catch on the 1-0 fastball for out number two. Down and work this one into deep conference play. Swing and a miss. That's a 1-2-3 inning for Matheson and the Baylor Bear defense. one nothing Bears. We head to the top of the third in Arlington. It was an interesting ground out. Ryan Black made the throw over to first as he was falling to the ground in shallow right center field. This ball gets away from somewhere. There'll be no throw as Johnson takes second base on the wild pitch. Runner going, payoff, swing, ground ball to the left side. Fielded by Tyreek Kemp. The throw to first in time. And with Hill running, that prevented any chance of a double play. So it turns into a productive out for Sumler as Hill now stands at second base on the 6-3 ground out. Against his old team and try and help the cause out for UT Arlington. Swing and a miss. Strikeout for Matheson. His third of the game. He's got a strikeout in all three innings so far. It won't be the first time. Maverick fans, they're known to race some points here and there. 2-0. Moreno. Fly ball into center field. Ty Johnson uh, makes the catch. That'll be out number three. Kaiser, but great job by Tice. First pitch to Tyreek Kemp, high in the air, right center field. Can't make the catch. Hill, it gets all the way to the wall. Tyreek Kemp is going to stop at second base. Stand up double. He nearly drove it out of the park. Very often, but he was hitless for a little bit, a very short time. Ground ball the right side. Tice, and it takes a wicked deflection, and that is going to allow Tyreek Kemp to score from second base. Mavericks, because both errors would have been the third out of the inning, and that would have ended it. Base hit up the middle by Apodaca. Throw back down two. They'll get it into Gurner. Baseball teams in the area, obviously TCU, just a 20-minute ride next door. Ryan Black sends one high in the air into center field. Ty Johnson calls off his left fielder, Caleb Bergman. He's got it for out number one against Ryan Black. And Ellis, it's the kind of guy you want in the cleanup spot as well. Runner going. Ellis swings, pops this one up in the air, shallow center field. Pointer has to retreat back to first base, and the catch made by Ty Johnson. Well, long stare down from Rue, and Armstrong goes down, swinging, strikeout for Rue. Average strand a runner. 2 0 Baylor. We head to the top of the fifth inning in Arlington. Shows bunt, it's down, and it's picked up by Buchanan, the catcher. Throw to first in time. Nice job by Jackson Hill, the sacrifice. A memory of Kaiser, first couple games that, you know, maybe the numbers weren't there. Chopper by Sumler up the middle. Tough play by the shortstop, and he, Tyreek Kemp, makes the throw to first in time. That moves Harrington to third as he is struck out back in the third inning. Ground ball to the right side. Tough scoop by Posey and the recovery to first by Tanner Duke. And the Mavericks strand the runner at third base. Why not? See what you got. As he'll take a first pitch to Zach Mazog out of the reach of Collins. And Ryan Black can't get the scoop. Rattles around his glove and leg. That was going to be a close play anyway. That was do or die from Ryan. 
Calder made two appearances against the Cougars this last weekend. Moreno pops this one up into the infield. Tyreek Kemp calling off everybody. He runs forward in the grass. He makes the catch from the shortstop position for out number one. Called strike three. Big strike out there for Ethan Calder. Net put some more spin on it, and that's how you get him back here. I want to say 2011 against TCU, the only time we've had a foul ball come back to the radio booth. Swing and a miss by Ellis, and that'll end the sixth inning. 2-2. Two -two. Tice goes down, swinging for the second time here tonight. I know he wants that one back. It's going inning by inning. Called strike three, four straight strikeouts for Ethan Calder. He's now got 28 strikeouts on the season, and he's been masterful. Two out, nobody on here in the bottom of the seventh inning. First pitch, and Hill swings, chops this one over Craig. Two hopper over to Daniel Altman, and the throw to first base in time to Posey, and that'll end the inning. Played in Provo against BYU. As here's a ground ball. That's in the left field. Base hit for Posey. And here comes the throw home. And somewhere can't come up with it. Run scores for Baylor. Six outs to work with, and they need three runs. They've only got four hits in this ball game so far. Here's a ground ball up the middle by somewhere, fielded by Tyreek Kemp. Throw to first in time to Posey. And that's going to be out number one. Pitching's done a great job so far, and Maverick hitters have just not found their groove. Yeah, just some scattered singles around for UTA. Medellin into right, and it will be caught by Enzo Apodaca for out number two. Really trying to cook something up here in the ninth. So here's Hill, who is one for two tonight. And this ball gets to the backstop. Quick recovery by Buchanan. Throw down to third. Out at third base, Armstrong. Grotti wasting absolutely no time. Hill's got to make an adjustment here. Called strike three, and the game is over. Baylor escapes with a 3-1 win over UT Arlington. The Bears get their 17th win of the season, and the Mavericks fall to 15-22.